Who really want war? Who really want to spar with a beast? Raise hell, so I better call in a priest. Pardon my speech, but I'm hotter than the devil when I'm high up on the level that a god couldn't reach. Oh, damn. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to go over the brand new Ultimate Kickoff promo that just launched today. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you my roster. Just a little roster update on Xbox. And I'm going to take your advice on who you guys want to see on my team. Which one of these uh, um, Ultimate Kickoff Masters you want to see on my team. So, first, before we get started, let's actually, before we get into these sets, let's actually look at the bundles and the packs that are out at the moment so we can get a better idea of um, what we're going to be needing for these or how much these things cost these collectibles so the way it works is you get these these um, ultimate kickoff packs and you get these collectibles in these packs right so each pack comes with three collectibles the 8900 points bundle is going to give you 18 packs so every pack has uh, three collectibles. So 18 times three, quick math, 54, plus the 21 uh, kickoff collectibles, the topper. You're looking at 75 collectibles for 8,900 points. Okay, keep that in mind, 7,500. Then you, uh, if you just say, for instance, you, you paid for the 12,000 points, which is $100, you'll have um, about 3,000 left after buying this. So maybe you buy the five kickoff bundles so you'll get 15 more um and then maybe one of these so 18 more you're looking at we'll just say 20 more we'll just call it 20 plus this uh you know 75 you're looking at 90 to 95 whatever it is okay 90 ish we'll just go on the short side say 90 of them all right for 100 actually we'll go on the far side we'll say, the high side we'll say 95 all right for a hundred dollars Okay, 95 collectibles. Um, those collectibles are then put into these sets here. All right, these sets, ultimate kickoff. You have three different things here. All right, let's start with, let's start with, uh, let's start with the masters. All right, there's four masters, 91 A-Rod, 91 D-Hop, 91 Mac, 91 Sherman. As you can see, these sets take 120 of these collectibles. So if you were to spend $100, you are not guaranteed one of these cards. Absolutely, without a doubt, not worth my $100. I will not be buying these fucking packs. Um, with that being said, if you buy them, kudos to you. Uh, you're going to need more than $100 to guarantee yourself one of these uh, masters. And again, Sherman, they all have their, their uh, you know, uh, downside in my opinion. All right. Um, Aaron Rodgers doesn't get the hot route master, so that's not good. He doesn't get escape artist. That's not good. I don't, I can't see me using him. Um, just, I mean, just because, I mean, the only way, way I would use him is just to show you guys his card if he makes throws and whatnot. He's no, there's no way I would use him over Kurt Warner, Phillip Rivers. There's no way I would use him over Michael Vick, Lamar Jackson, Steve Young, Andrew Luck, the escape artist guys. So just the cards that don't have either or are just useless. So I wouldn't use him. D Hop, a little bit slow on the slow side. 87 speed. We can't get him up with Sprinter. Uh, so a card that I guess. It is usable, but he's just a little bit on the slower side. Khalil Mack, probably the most useful of these four. Um, only thing is, Von Miller, you got him for free already if you did the House Rules event um, earlier this year, or if you just earned enough trophies to get the NAT uh, Von, you know, through seasons or whatnot. You already have Von Miller, so it's is Khalil Mack really that big of an upgrade um, over Von Von Miller? And then you have Richard Sherman, who is. Yes, he has great zone, but he's 84 fucking speed. What is 84 speed going to do out there? All right. Unfortunate. So if I had to rank these, I would go Mac 1, Hopkins 2, uh, Sherman 3, Aaron Rodgers 4. I mean, the, the good thing about Aaron Rodgers, he has the quick release, but again, he just doesn't have the right chems. Like the, Those chems are just awful. So um, I, I can't see myself using them. Um, but I, I am going to ask you guys to leave a comment in the chat, in the comment section, who you guys want to see um, on my Xbox team. 
comment whoever I see the most of. I'll be buying that card and getting the gameplay, showing you guys that card in action all right, on my upcoming videos. All right, so there's the first first uh, ultimate kickoff master. If you wanted to do that, say you buy the bundle, you have 90. Um, so you have 75. You just bought the 8900 point bundle. You have 75 collectibles. You could take them to this quick sale. Um, the quick sale sets. So what these basically are, all right. What these basically are are um, you put these collectibles in, and based off how many wins these teams get, you get you you could quick sell this this uh, what this card or whatever for the amount of training that you see on the screen. So say you do the bears, right? This bears set. And you put 29 of these collectibles in this set. You're going to get an NAT collectible that will increase in training quick sell based on the Bears regular season wins. Okay, so you have to wait another 16 weeks. Or 15 weeks in a little bit, I guess you could say. To find out how many wins the Bears got. The Bears end with 12. This card ends up giving you 20,000 training. 15 weeks down the road. I'm just, I'm, I'm really just not a fan of waiting that long for something. Like, I'm spending $100. I want some shit now. I'm just not a fan of waiting forever to get this done. But yeah, you could do this for any of these. Obviously, the better the team, the more um, collectibles they cost. As you can see here, the Chiefs cost 44 collectibles. You would imagine them at least ending with 12 wins. So, 44 collectibles is going to get you at least 20,000 training. All right. And each of those, again, they have their own and then you could do the um, starter set which gives you a random team for 12 if you wanted to do that so th that's the um, quick sell sets you also have the seasonal performers all right again this one is so it's similar it's based off teams and it's based off w uh, wins for that team so for example if you put 50 collectibles in the Super Bowl favorites all right Super Bowl favorites you put 50 in there you're gonna pick between one of three players Kendall Fuller Carson Wentz and James I don't know why the Eagles are a Super Bowl favorite like I don't know who did this who, who confused the Eagles with another team like the Niners but somehow they're a Super Bowl favorite um, if you do this, you get to pick one of these three, and based on how many wins these players get, this these players teams get. So, say you pick Kendall Fuller, and the Chiefs win um, 12 games, that will get you his max overall. So they'll start at 83 overall, and then every win that their team gets, they go up one overall. So um, Kendall Fuller, as of right now, I believe he's 84 overall because they have one win. Uh, if they win 10 games plus he'll max out at 93 overall they all max at 93 any of these cards okay now there's some here that i think are pretty good value all right i think under the radar i could see the texans and the titans both doing okay this year me personally i think you know 20 for those two teams i think would be pretty good investment justin reed you might get a i think they win at least both of these teams at least eight games right <clears throat> so at the very minimum you're getting 91 overalls um but i could see i could see them winning a little bit more they're in they, the, the only thing is with these two they're in the same division so they'll beat up on each other but um if you just were to pick one of them i think <clears throat> them being in that division with the jags you gotta assume that's two two wins right there and then they play the colts as well like i think you know the colts are okay but again missing luck what are they like what's their identity really um but yeah, you could go ahead and look through all these. I think DeForest Buckner, again, 10 wins for the Niners. Not far-fetched. Go get it done. Now, in all seriousness, bias aside, I would I would imagine um, the Cowboys being pretty good value here. Um, maybe the Vikings. Outside of those, 10 wins for any of these other teams, pretty sketchy. Um, I would say you got your best chance with the, with the Cowboys in this out of these teams. Um, playoff contenders, again... 35 for these and then you just look right here. don't do none of these all right none of these have value actually i take that back raiders actually looked okay the other day if you want to invest in the raiders for 15 why not Derek carr hopefully he gets a better card than his brother i mean just show me that you're better than your brother was all right 
But yeah, all right, these are the sets, seasonal performers. Again, you gotta wait fucking weeks to get these cards where you want them to be. Not really the biggest fan. Anyways, let me know what you guys wanna see as far as the Masters go. Which one of these four you wanna see on my Xbox team and my PS4 team, and I'll show you guys some gameplay with those cards, break those cards down, let you guys know um, what I actually think about them after using those cards, because it is different than when you're actually just looking at ratings and whatnot. All right, there's the ultimate kickoff promo. Now to my roster that you guys will see in Weekend League this week for Xbox. Um, we'll start off on the offensive side of the ball. We got maxed out Michael Vick, Marcus Allen still. Pretty much the same offense, but except Vick is on the squad now, maxed out with you know all his abilities. Show you his abilities right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, fast break and escape artist. All right. Um, I downgraded Deerdorf to get coins for Vic, so I actually had to sell his limited. Everyone else, pretty much the same. All right. Defensively, um, we upgraded a few positions, most notably Pat Tillman. I got Mutt Master recently, so I have him at strong safety. Patrick Willis, I'm trying to get his maxed out card. I haven't got that yet, but um, you know, I'm trying to save some coins. Maybe with this week's uh, rewards, I can get him. Khalil Mack, maybe maybe that's one of the cards you guys want to see. Maybe upgrade him. And then free safety, I'm playing Ken Houston there. So Ken Houston's going to be at free. He's backup safety right now. All right, so there's my defense. Not too many changes. This is the team you'll see in Weekend League. Here's my kicker, Jan. He's a beast. But he might be um, sellable because he's limited right now. Maybe just sell him before he gets into packs and whatnot. Because those limiteds are coming back to packs when Season 2 starts. So Season 2 starting next week, I believe. All right, there's my team. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you slap a like on it. Leave a comment who you want to see on my team. Um, any roster changes you guys think you would make with my squad. And, of course, let me know um, if you guys want to see A-Rod, Khalil Mack, any of the new masters on this squad or my PS4 squad. And I want to give you guys video breakdowns of those cards just showing them in action all right see you guys on the next video thank you guys for all the love and support you guys have been amazing closing in on 30,000 subscribers on youtube um, less than a few hundred away so if you haven't already subscribe hit that sub button thank you guys for the support and i'll see you guys on the stream tonight if you watch this video i'm streaming by the time you watch this i'm probably gonna be streaming twitch.tv forward slash problem right see you guys there peace